So in previous video, we have talked about cubic equation of state and we said that the cubic equation of state were basically proposed by Van der Waals in 1870s and he proposed it with the basic equation being P equal to PR plus PA where PR refers to repulsive term which is which will increase the pressure on the walls of the container and PA is an attractive term which will decrease the pressure on the walls of container and hence the second portion of or the second term of the equation is negative. So, P is RT over V minus V minus L upon V square was proposed by Van der Waals. Van der Waals equation can be considered as you know a kind of semi empirical equation. The reason being it has a theory behind it which, which says P is equal to uh, P is equal to P R plus P A. However, there is the, the mathematical terms which have been used to express the relation between P, T and V are uh, you know mainly empirical in nature. Based on the understanding of the process, the empirical uh, equation is proposed. So, that is why the Van der Waals equation whenever it failed, the, the improved version of cubic equation of state came into existence and we see that as you can see further. When we put A equals to B equals to 0, Van der Waals equation reduces to an ideal gas equation, right. And given A and B or if I know how to calculate A and B, I can find out any two out of PV, uh, any one out of PVT given the two. So, this is something which we discussed in our previous uh, session. Today what we are going to see here in this session is that how a cubic equation of state would represent the PV diagram. So, if you look at this diagram, right, this diagram is PV diagram which we have already seen except this isotherm. So, this isotherm goes through a minima and then maxima. So, what we have seen till now is that we have got, we have got T greater than Tc, T equal to Tc where we have an inflection point here and for the for the you know experimental value what we have is something like this we have a horizontal line and we do not have this kind of shape but the red line which is shown is what is being predicted by cubic equation of state as I would uh, you know uh, discuss uh, further. So when T is greater than Tc right your cubic equation of state represent the diagram in a similar way but what I mean when I say that the diagram represent the experimental data right. So let us try to see that. So, what I mean is that I have got this equation V is equal to RT over V minus V minus A upon V square. So, I fix the temperature say for example T2 which is greater than Tc. So, T2 is fixed. So, this term is fixed. For a given fluid let us say I know A and B R is always fixed and I vary pressure from this value to this value. So, this is P1 to this is Pf. So, for various values of P, P1 to Pf and T2, I calculate the corresponding value of V. So, V1 to Vf and I plot it here. Right. So, when I plot it using equation of state, I would get it like this only. May not be exactly this value. So, if this is experimental, this line is experimental, black line is experimental, my prediction would be around that. But it will be the similar behavior. In the same way, when my T becomes Tc, I will have a similar behavior here. But when T is less than Tc, what happens is that in the liquid region, that is in the subcool region, I will have data, I will have prediction like this only. In the gaseous phase or a superheated region, I have a you know assumption like I have a prediction like this only. But for a vapor liquid region, what happens is rather than the horizontal flat line, I get this kind of curve. It goes through minima, then a maxima, and then it again gets up the you know vapor line. See, uh, at first instant, it looks that this is where cubic equation of state is not representing the behavior properly. It has to be a 
horizontal line where the pressure and temperature are maintained same at a saturation condition and the conversion of liquid to vapor takes place however if you look at this if you look at this diagram right what happens is that if we conduct the experiment in a very tight situation or in a very tight fixed volume uh, you know uh, uh, test tube we may be able to go below the you know vapor pressure and our line may you know have this kind of behavior however for all practical purposes when we are doing our routine experiments we feel that it has to be a straight line so yeah we can say that kv equation of state is not representing vapor plus liquid behavior similar to the experimental data however this uh, you know this kind of negative aspect of the weak equation of state can be overcome by you know considering that what we are interested in is the values of v at equilibrium even when we have a vapor liquid equilibrium even we have a multi component multi phase system we are interested in finding out the value of e and even with this kind of nature this kind of curve where the cubic equation of state can give you can provide us with the proper answer we'll see how can it provide those proper answer so we can ignore this uh, limitation however yeah this is a limitation which a cubic equation of state has now let us see how cubic equation of state provides you with the roots so for all isotherms which are greater than tc right pressure is decreasing function of of volume now you just see for t greater than tc that is in this form right we have got you know a smooth line for t equal to tc right we have got a line which has an inflection point here and for t less than tc the pressure decreases like this it passes through this and then decreases like this in the vapor region right so this is something which we know about pv diagram let us talk about the roots of this so cubic equation of state when you try to solve it it will provide you with the three roots right but with the equation which is there right our root which we will be accepting has to be a real positive value and naturally has to be greater than the b which is uh, you know calculated or given right or which is known so our v out of the three roots we will select only the root which is real because the volume has to be be real it has to be positive and not only real and positive it has to be greater than b because otherwise the terms would go into negatives so this is you know this three things the meaningful uh, you know answer must meet it is real positive and greater than constant b so when i solve cubic equation of state for t greater than tc i will have only one such root which will be real positive and greater than b so as such i don't need to worry only you know when t is greater than tc out of the three roots i'll be very easily be able to identify which root is the correct answer because there will be only one root which will be positive and real and greater than b so no problems of identifying which is the correct root when we go for t equal to tc it is true for this region as well as for this region it will be similar to t greater than tc that it will be only one root which will be real positive greater than b but at t equal to tc that is at this point there will be three roots will be equal to you know who will be real positive and greater than constant b but fortunately all the three roots will be same right and hence which is nothing but equal to vc so uh, for critical isotherm also we have got only one root real root for entire you know region except for pc for p equal to pc you have got three roots for all the three roots would be same so identify again the roots would not be a big problem for us when t is equal to tc however for t less than tc the equation may exhibit one or three real roots depending upon the pressure so if the pressure is here that is this range there is only one real root and you take that as your answer if the pressure is in this range like in this range there is only one real root and you take that but if the pressure is in this range that is in the range of vapor pressure now you see if you look at this diagram and if i draw this horizontal line there are three answers to v 
one is this other is this and third is this so actually at this pressure where the vapor pressure value is this and the given pressure is this you are having liquid phase you don't have this and you don't have this physically however mathematically you will get this answer so you should identify out of this three root which root you are looking for so if the pressure is greater than vapor pressure naturally only the liquid root is meaningful other two roots are of no use if the pressure is less than vapor pressure that is you are in this region according to mathematics you will get three roots right but the sorry this one this this and this but you will only consider this because it has to be behaving as a vapor so for some range above and below vapor pressure mathematically we will be getting three roots out of this three roots which is to be selected so if the pressure is more than vapor pressure you are in liquid phase and you will be able to say that okay the liquid root is correct if the pressure is less than vapor pressure out of the three roots the one which is in vapor state is the correct answer how do we identify which is a liquid root which is a vapor root so we know that for a given pressure and temperature naturally the vapor will occupy more volume right so for out of the three roots if we know that we are in a vapor region then out of the three roots the highest value the maximum value of v is to be considered as a vapor root and the least is to be considered as the as the liquid root so if the pressure is less than vapor pressure you will consider it to be uh, you know vapor volume highest of the three if the pressure is more than vapor pressure you will consider liquid which is the least of the three right so this is how we can identify at p equal to vapor pressure that is p equal to p sat you get two values out of three two values are correct one is saturated liquid other is saturated vapor and the intermediate root is of no use so when you have you are having let me erase everything from here so when you are having p equal to vapor pressure there are three roots one is this one is this and one is this this have no physical significance this is v vapor and this is v liquid so only at p equal to vapor pressure you got two roots however mathematically for this entire region you will be getting three roots and out of these three roots you will con consider only liquid for p greater than vapor pressure you will consider only vapor p less than vapor pressure correct and you know there is another way if you want to if you don't have any you know clue of the vapor pressure will do of the given uh, you know fluid you can also identify which is the correct or the stable root by finding out the fugacity so naturally the root with the least fugacity is the most stable root so if the you know root with least fugacity is vapor you can say that the vapor is the stable and you are you are having vapor if the root with least fugacity is liquid phase you say that it is a liquid phase so this is how a cubic equation of state represent pv diagram and this is how we identify out of the three roots which cubic equation of state provides mathematically which root is to be collected just to refresh t greater than tc only one root which is real positive greater than v remaining would not be considered t equal to tc for the entire region except t p equal to pc you will have a similar behavior for t greater than tc that is only one root which is real positive greater than b but at p equal to pc t equal to tc there are three roots but all the three roots would be same for t less than tc when the pressure is sufficiently high from vapor pressure there is only one root which is real positive and greater than b when p is sufficiently low from vapor pressure there is only one root which is real positive greater than b which is vapor but in the vicinity of vapor pressure we are likely to get three roots out of the three roots the one which you will be selecting depends on fugacity or the value of pressure and at vapor pressure there will be two roots saturated liquid and saturated vapor and saturated liquid so i hope this is clear to everybody and we'll meet next time with some more details on cubic equation of state thank you